Hey guys and welcome back to Down Under. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing on the Google Chromecast 3rd generation charcoal. Now I couldn't get my hands on the white edition but it is available as well. So you can get a white edition of this too. So which looks pretty cool too as well. So now what I'm going to get into at the moment is the supported apps and a, a few of the supported apps. So the first one is YouTube, Netflix, Spotify and Chrome. Now they are the apps supported as well as it supports a thousand more apps. So there's thousands of apps you can look at. There's a thousand in total that you can look at in Chromecast, like Foxtel Go, you can Chromecast over, which works pretty well actually, as well as Foxtel Now, as it says down the bottom right there. Also, when we go to the side of the box, it'll tell us it supports 1080p, as well as it supports 60 frames per second. And you can simply uh, set it up in the Google Home app, which we'll show you next how to do. So it supports 60 frames per second, as well as it works with your Google Home. So you can easily ask it to play like Netflix, so you can ask it to play Lost in Space, um, and it works pretty well. And we're going to show you how to do that at the end of the video as well, just to show you how that features works. As well as you can share um, your Google Photos, use Chrome and YouTube, and it just shows you there um, what you can do right there. And there's quite a lot you can do with this. If you've got an old TV that supports HDMI and you want to make it into like a smart TV, this is the box for you. Because all you need is a smartphone or a Google Home and if you just want it for Netflix, if you know what the TV show you want to watch and it's on Netflix, just ask Google Home and it'll tell you exactly for you. It'll play it for you and you can easily skip, skip episodes, uh, you can fast forward and this is exactly how you cast it. So with this little cast option, if you see that on your phone, you can just click on that and it'll cast it to the Google Chrome. Um, cast. So let's get into it. Now we're going to do an unboxing of it and just show you what's in the box and let's get into it. So let's open up the box. That should just slide down and wow I like the matted look right here. So that's like a nice little matted look um, and it's the exact same size as the Google Chromecast second generation. To me it looks no difference in size but what they have done is remove that magnet which is so annoying. Um, I wish they still had the magnet there because I used to like that for traveling um, so you could easily put it in your bag without being able to rip the cable because the cable could rip if it can't latch back at the back of the Google Chromecast. I think it'd be better if they had the magnet there still. Uh, that would be good as well as you get your power brick. Get a one meter lead. So power lead, you get a one meter lead right there. And that's basically everything in the box right there. Now if you want to connect this to your TV you can. So it is one meter so you can easily plug this into your TV. So you don't have to plug in the power brick in. So that's something you might want to keep in mind. Also you got your safety guide, let's start guide, and that's basically everything there. So that's all your guides right there. And um, there, so that's everything there, and that's everything in the box. So basically all we have to do now is go over to the Google Home app and set this up. And let's get into that now and show you how to set it up. So now we're going to show you how to successfully set up your Google Chromecast. And all you're going to need to do is download the Google Home app on your iOS device or Android. So we'll just wait for it to all boot up, and then we'll show you just what to do. So we're currently looking at the Google logo, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, basically from here, what you want to do is you want to go onto your Android phone or iOS and scroll down and make sure you connect it to the Google Chromecast Wi-Fi. So as you see I'm not, I'm connected to the wrong Wi-Fi here, so basically I'll just hit the drop down menu. Um, this will be different on iOS and some different Android phones, but most Android phones do have this drop down menu. Then you just want to connect to the um, exactly what it says there, and it'll have like a dot V, so make sure you connect to that. So connect to that right there. I'll just wait for that to say on that exact network. So it does say that right there. Then you want to scroll up and hit set up. From there, hit next. Then it's going to look for the device. Okay, then you want to hit yes. Then what it says up there, that exact code, you want to... um. Make sure that matches what it says on the screen in a few seconds. So it's currently connected and it does exactly say that code. So hit yes, then hit yes again. Then depending on what you want to call your Google Chromecast, I'm just going to call it this. Hit next. You can also pick out of the options or you can make your own down here. Okay, hit next again. Then you want to connect to your Wi Fi network. Then hit next. Hit OK, then it should connect. Okay, so it says almost done. We're connected over here. 
Then what you want to do is hit next, okay? Okay, so what this will allow us to do here is you've got Netflix and you can also link up Stand, which we're not going to worry about. So you want to hit next to that. Then you've got your service is Netflix and the Wi-Fi down here and the device name right there. Then you want to hit continue. Also, you want to hit continue again. And then it's going to show you a tutorial, which we're going to skip. So now we're actually in the Google Home app. And if we go home, the device should pop up here, right there. So now we're going to show you um, all the different features you can do. Now, as you see, it's saying almost set up. Now, this won't take too long for it to take effect. Um, sometimes if it's doing this, this can work on the slowness of your internet. So what I would recommend doing, sometimes if it's still not doing, it still says almost set up in like 10 minutes, if it's still saying that, unplug it and plug it back in. And it will not, it shouldn't do anything. It should just go straight to the homepage. We're going to do that right now just to show you it won't affect the, the device at all. So let's go do that. So if you're on a slow internet connection like me, you can come through these a few errors. So at the moment I'm getting 5 megabits per second, which isn't the best thing. It's slow, which can cause errors, um, just like you're seeing now. So we'll just wait for that to boot up, and we should boot up on a wallpaper. Okay, it seems it has worked, as I was right. Um, so we'll just wait for the time to pop up. Shouldn't take... There we go. The time has popped up, and you see the Wi-Fi at the top and the name of the device. So then what you want to do on the Google Home app, which um, if you want to change a few settings, you can. So basically click on what the device is called. So as you see here, it is right now. Then you want to hit the gear icon. Okay, from there, you can change a few settings. So for one of them, you can turn guest mode on. So you want to turn that on if you want. You don't have to, and that will be the pin. The pin will be displayed on the Chromecast. So when you've turned that on, also, the preview program, I would recommend joining this. So just join that right there. And that will allow you to um, join all the new updates. Then I would use this um, HDMI mode. So turn that on as well. Right there. Now the screen will go black for a few seconds and then it will come back. And then that's everything there. Then you want to go back. Then you want to click on um, mode settings. And basically what you can do here you can add like, um, so if you want to see the temperature or if you want to see both. And this will allow the temperature right now to pop up on the screen. It should pop up like automatically. So as you see, 27 and 81 degrees. Um, so that will show the temperature right there. You can hide the time. And you can hide a few other things too. And you can change the um, images time. So if you want to change that to 10 minutes or you can change it every 5 seconds. Totally up to you what you want to do there. Also, you can add other pictures in by turning on Facebook, right here. You can connect to Facebook there. You can go back, also you can connect your Google Photos, right here, which we don't have any Google Photos, so we'll just wanna go back. Okay. Also, with the gallery, you can click on all these. So if you wanna see all these, or you just wanna see a particular amount of photos, like you just wanna see NASA, Earth photos, you can just click on that and they'll just show you that certain category. But I'm gonna tick them all on, that way we have all the gallery art we can all look at. So that's everything there. Then you just wanna go back when you've done that and you're all set up basically. And basically, because we're on the same Wi-Fi network, we can ask um, my Google Home to play Netflix. So for example, if we ask it, hey Google, play Lost in Space. Sure, Lost in Space from Netflix. So that's playing should... on Down Under Group House 2. So that should play like immediately. So it shouldn't take too long to load up. And there's no phone required with this. As soon as you've linked it up on your phone, um, you won't need to cast it from your phone. It should do it all on the Google Home um, Assistant. And as you see, it's going to play it right now. Hey Google, stop. And there you go. That's how it plays. It works pretty well too. And also you can ask it other questions like, Hey Google, play PewDiePie. 
Here are some options showing on down under group house two. And basically, which it's, one would you like? It's going to give us a few options here, what we can click on, um, which works really well. So if you want to watch a certain thing, you can easily ask it which one you want to play. Here are a couple of suggestions. You can say, watch Orange is okay. the new black hey, Google. Netflix on down under. Stop. And basically what it will ask is you have to say a number and basically whatever that number is as it had like number one number two and if you say number four it'll play that exact video so that's basically how that works and it works pretty well in my opinion so i'm hoping you like this sort of video um if you didn't like it at all let us know down below we try to improve um every video we make so your feedback does mean a lot to us so if there was any complaints you do have feel free to send us a comment down below so thanks again for watching down under and hopefully you like it thanks again